<laughs> Hello, everybody. It is March 20th, and I am quite late today, but that's okay, because we have a special guest. My Hello. boyfriend! Nobody's here yet, just so you know, but I like to talk, so when people watch it back, there's something in the beginning, and it's not just me, like, yeah. <laughs> waiting yeah. for chat. Mama Jen, I see your message that says you got hella crossfaded a week ago, and you're still recovering. I don't know if you just sent that, or if that's from last week's broadcast, but... Or if it's from last week's, I hope you're recovered by now. We're having a bit of a, a litty day. I'm going to wait for, for chat to come in. Hello, hello, everybody. Samantha, welcome. This is Sam. She's uh, she's my mod, and she's the best. She's one of our members. Hi, Sam. So <laughs> I'm here with my boyfriend, and I'm giving him the rundown on everything that we do here. We're doing something really fun today. Hi, Gita. How are you? We are going to be doing some super, super fucking metal-ass makeup today. Hey, Stuart, welcome. For those of you guys who don't know, this is Seth. Hi, I'm Seth. <laughs> Hi, this is Seth. It was from today. Mama Jen, I'm so sorry you're feeling that way. That's how we're trying to be. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I see you've made it. We've got oh. Tina. We've got Outback. We've got Ninja, Hannah, Vance, Sid. How are you guys doing? We're going to be doing something really fun today, something a little bit out of the ordinary. As you guys can see, I have my boyfriend here with me. This is our first stream together, and he's excited but unsure what to expect so chilling <laughs> be nice to him please welcome fantas sydney let's go welcome welcome um i see some members in the chat we got sydney we got sam what's going on how are my members today oh, my brock. member babies <laughs> brock is the best he comes with some real unhinged shit as i'm sure you've heard <laughs> which we love it was so fun. Mama Jen, what did you do to get crossfaded? Like, what was the dealio? Right now, we're celebrating Seth's um, Hello, Stuart. somewhat retirement from full-time bartending. Retirement from full-time uh, service industry-ing. Service industry-ing. So we're, yeah. we're having some beers. Opening too. more time to explore other ventures. Yeah, as I've told you guys many a times... Many, many a times, he is also a um, a personal trainer, which is why I look so ripped. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, so that is, thank you. So that is what he's focusing his time back on, too. Today's his first day uh, off in, like, forever. This man's been working so hard, like, six days a week for months now. So we're celebrating, and I had a plan to do some corpse paint. Um... Full disclosure, I've got this sponsorship that I'm going to be working on when we get off this stream. It's for, like, a dating app, um, which they did not tell me that before I accepted it. I thought it was just, like, Omegle or Chat Roulette or something. Um, but it turns out it's a dating app. So I thought it'd be really fucking funny to do, like, the most extreme possible makeup ever and get on there and try to get a date. Um, but upon enrolling for said dating app... Um, I realized I had an option for swinger couples, <laughs> like you can sign up as a swinger couple, so that's what I figure I guess we're gonna do, <laughs> I mean like not legitimately, but just to make some content, so I decided on doing corpse paint, um, that's about as extreme as I could possibly think of in terms of emo makeup, just so you guys have a reference to what corpse paint is, if you don't know what it is. Can they see what's that? Is? Yes, they can see this. This is controlling okay. what they can see. Um, so just so you guys have a reference, corpse paint is, uh, I believe, originated in death metal. Possibly black metal? I'm not really sure. I don't know what subgenre of metal. It's metal. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think either of us typically go to or listen to any music where you would see this kind of makeup at the show maybe chelsea have, grin chelsea really people maybe. would wear this to chelsea grin i don't know i don't listen to chelsea grin so i've told you guys many times that like all my metal influence comes from this man basically because up until my adulthood i was very like sceny bopper like <laughs> Okay, so it is just black. 
You know what? I trust Sebi because Sebi is our uh, our Romanian friend, and black metal is way more influential over yeah, in yeah. Europe than it is here. So, all right. So yeah, everyone's telling me black metal. Yeah, it's black metal. Um, black metal is actually really not as heavy as you would think it is. I've told you guys this before, but I accidentally made it to a mayhem show, um, which we can look up mayhem as well. Let's let's see what they look like. Actually, I saw them in real life, but I was really distracted by the audience being, like, evil people trying to attack me, so. Uh, May? How do you spell Mayhem? Mayhem? Mm -hmm. Band. What the hell? Wait, wait, I want to see what that picture was. I want person. I want to see this picture. That looks like some weird... <laughs> okay, that's photoshopped on. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, Mayhem. The headline was Mayhem cover band already killed each other. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, this is a band I accidentally saw live. I'm pretty sure, like, 90% of their members are uh, not alive, ironically. 90%. Yeah, well, they, they just keep replacing the members. Like, there's one original member, and the rest of them are dead. For, like, very morbid reasons. Um, But, yeah, so this is... Corpse Paint. That's the band Mayhem. Very, very uh, specific look. Let's see. It's like the grossest paint. That's kind of the point. It's supposed to look like you're dead, I believe, is the influence. Hence why it's called Corpse Paint. So this is something I have um, never tried. I'm not, I, I, I'm just going to be honest, neither of us are part of the black metal community <laughs> by any means. He's a part of, like, more so the metalcore community than I am, even, but, um, yeah. I saw someone suggest you should look out, you should check out Black Friday on YouTube. Yes, yeah, so I believe Black Friday, I used to watch her a lot, actually. I know exactly who you're talking about. Sorry, we're doing some background here. I don't care. Black Friday, I believe, is more like, uh, trad goth. Which I was... <laughs> Rebecca Black Friday is what comes but up. That's exactly what I thought of it's when fine. we were talking about Black Friday. No, she's a YouTuber. Um, She looks like this, which I... She is very, very goth, but I do believe this is what they refer to as trad goth. Which, ironically, I was actually talking about with Seth yesterday. I think this is like... What about Chris Motionless? Is... Well, I don't know. Do you think that's like... I, I think that's like a hybrid. Skin to be that way through surgery or something? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> do they I still... don't know, dude. People do weird things. How are they that white? <laughs> How does one become so Caucasian? Um, no, I think it's just white paint, which is why uh, I went to Michael's today. And I didn't buy, like, the good shit. I'm not going to lie. I bought the cheaper stuff. I do believe it's very similar to the same... Same thing, but I got some Snazaru, which, um, if you're not familiar, I I watch a lot of makeup YouTubers who do, like, crazy horror looks, and, uh, they always use Snazaru for some reason. I got this shitty children's version, it was $4, but we've got black and white, so I think that's all we need. We're talking about Black Phil Brides, kind of, I mean, they have, what they have, okay, Black Phil Brides has war paint, is what I would call it. Um, it is not corpse paint. And I, I think, again, I think I would call Chris Motionless trad goth as well. Just the white face and black makeup. Let's see. Who are we just talking about? What did I just say? Black Phil Brides. Black Phil Brides. And I believe, as someone who spent a lot of time watching Andy Beersack interviews back in the day... I do believe that Andy also referred to this as war paint. It's not the I don't know who this is. I think that's CC. I don't remember. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's the closest you could consider uh, corpse paint. But no, this is more like war paint is what I remember them calling it. So anyways, now that we've gone over uh, in depth our, our history of black metal. I love you too, uh, Amber. We are going to begin, I guess. Um, who should go first? Do you want to go first, and then you can leave and do your own thing, or do you want to sit while I do mine? I'll probably just chill the whole time. Okay. All right, well, should we rock, paper, scissors? That would be rude to the people. <laughs> to, to them. 
dip out. Irish, goodbye. See you later. That's Jinx, not CC. Okay. Sorry, my Blackville Bride's lore is not up to par exactly. I know I know who Andy is. <laughs> does, that, does that count for something? Alright, so we gotta decide who goes first. Me. You just wanna go first? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've never done his makeup. He's never not that he hasn't let me, but it's just never I haven't. You haven't I let haven't me? let her. Well we've there's never really been an opportunity either. Well you've asked me though. And yeah. Now. Well, the next thing I want to do now that I've, I'm getting through the door here and getting to do his corpse paint, the next thing I really want to do is turn him into me. Especially since I can just detach my hair and put it on him. I feel like that would be really fun. Like back in the day. She's actually going to shave my head first. Right. And bald. Right. And then I'm going to take you and actually get all my tattoos tattooed on your body. Yeah. Perfect. And what are we going to do with this one? And then after that, we're going to go, and since I have breast implants, we're going to get you some, the same size. Actually, maybe a little bit bigger, just so we match. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. You got to stretch your ears a few more sizes. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> got to stretch your ears a few more sizes. I tried to stretch mine today, you guys, but it didn't work again, as always. Only one ear did. Yeah, I've been at this size for... Ten years, not going anywhere. Damn, I've I've taken it. Happening. Once I can size this size up, I will be back at the biggest my ears have ever been. So, all right. How old am I? How Eleven old are you? years. You're twenty thousand years old. I keep thinking I'm twenty eight. Yeah, he turned twenty seven. What four or five months ago now? In August. Oh, in August. Oh my lord. Yeah, your perception of time is really warped. He turned, okay, so six months ago? Eight months ago? I don't know. I don't feel like counting. Like, let's say he turned, <laughs> he turned 27 seven months ago. Let's say that. He's been saying he's been 28 for seven months, so. So he says, I've done corpse paint myself. It was a metal fest in my city. Me and some friends did it. And then just fucking beat the hell out of crowd. Okay, Sebby, Jesus. Calm down. I guess I guess crowd killers deserve it because they're beating other people up. So, sounds like you guys just you guys go real hard for metal shows over there in Romania. Not us. Not here. Okay, so we got my snazaru. It's grease paint. So my 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 face is really gonna be upset with me after this. Um, but that's fine. You know what I'm actually going to do? This is going to make things easier. Give me one second. Go hang with the chat for a moment. Okay. Hello, chat. Good to be here. Hanging out for the first time with everybody. And she's back. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Ran out of things to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. The toilet's screaming, everybody. It's fucking chaos here. Chaos! Oh, God, you're such a cute puppy. A cute puppy. The cutest Goodness. puppy in the world. Okay, so what I just went and got was a uh, regular white pencils so i've got the oh no i've got this nazareth grease paint which i'm gonna have to unfurl to use but i think it'll be easier if i mark out the markings in this first and then i just go back through and actually put in the black and white so now that i've got all my materials hi amber bye brock <laughs> now that i've got all my i know all the dogs are here today you guys it's crazy all my materials in hand I am going to go back to looking at corpse paint, and I want you to pick one that you like. Man, I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. I like that one. Yeah. Why? Why is this what came up? I literally. <laughs> okay, I'm. Just... Oh, there is a lot of almost naked men in this. Show. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go regular corpse paint, apparently. 
Try not to get banned <laughs> off YouTube. All right, you pick. Okay. Look for one you like. It's all men anyway. That's not true. I mean, not that I know what these people identify as, but these people all look female. You're right. Well, I like how they all have long hair. That's pretty consistent. <laughs> yeah, that's the only rule of being metal is you have to have long hair. So by default, I am not metal. It's like this. Here, try that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That's still just super oh, fucking geez. small. Rob Zombie. These are all black and white. Well, I mean. It's just me. No, no, it is. He's colorblind, but no, these are actually black and white. I don't. Okay, we're just gonna go with um this one. Okay, so yeah. pretty basic, just. Make me look like a parasite has infected my eyes. Okay. No, I like this you one. You gotta talk a little bit louder. This one. Oh, of course, you picked the most complicated possible one. Okay, I can do that. Oh shit! I don't even think I need the uh the white pencil for the. Yeah, I do. Pucky. Shh. Thank you. <laughs> she she only chews on this phone when I'm streaming. I swear to God, like the minute the she stream. Must be part. I know she wants to tell everyone what's going on. She's like, I got this bone, bro. Oh, I got this bone, bro. All right. So I got I got my reference picture. Got my reference picture right here. This is actually, like like I said, the most complicated one he possibly could have picked, but that's okay. We can make this happen. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of your eyebrows. You've got very dark eyebrows. Shave them off, man. I know. I'm shaving your eyebrows off. Okay. That's the twist. We shave the eyebrows. Okay. Oh, man. This is going to... Super difficult here. Okay. If if it's too difficult, you could. No, no, no. We, I'm happy with. We can do this. We can do this. Sitting here and being part of this. All right. What do you guys think? Do you think I should do a full face of white first, or do you think I should go ahead and like etch out the black shapes and then do the white? I'm gonna say probably etch out the black shapes and then do the white. Um. Okay. I don't know how. I've never done this before. This is different than my usual makeup because this is straight up. Hey, maxi pads. Uh, this is straight up. <laughs> this is a, straight up like a uh, grease paint. Oh, maxi pads is in here a lot. We love her. No, I wasn't saying OGs to that. Are you saying OGs just to shave my eyebrows off? Yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's well, still attached. Full face first. White first is better, trust me. If you have a glue stick, just glue them down. Okay, Kiko, so that's a good idea. I do have probably a glue stick somewhere. This is a way that you get rid of eyebrows. You glue them down with actual glue, and then you cover them with concealer, and then you do whatever. Let's see. All right. Entertain. Okay. <laughs> Give me 40 seconds. Should I take my shirt off? Uh, I just hope this doesn't rip my eyebrows off because they are quite, you know, prominent on my face. Okay. I don't have a glue stick. We're just going to have to go with this. Um, how many tattoos does everybody have? That's a fun <laughs> question. That is a fun question. Yeah. How many do you have? Do you even know? I, it, so, okay, that's another question. Do you count tattoos as sessions or actual tattoos? Who counts their tattoos as sessions? I thought you were going to say. No, because I would count my entire sleeve as one tattoo, but I had this one first. Yeah, show the people. Sorry, I had this one first. Then I got this, the tree. And then I got downward part i don't know the reverse you're just of this. you're just hard i would the say this is one part. This and then i got one. the crows that i can't really show you that is also part of it so. if you really want to <laughs> i think i have like 35 
I don't know. I also have that same problem because this arm, once you get into this section, it's like, it, this is just one tattoo, basically, so. So. None, Yeah. but I want some? Hell yeah. One of these days. All right, I'm going to slick these down. I guess what the real question is, is what square footage of your skin is covered in tattoos? That's that's good. I think I would really overestimate. Yeah, what square foot it, what percentage maybe is better? I don't know how many square feet of skin I possess currently. That was probably the, not the correct unit. Let's look. I'm actually. Beth. Let's look this up. What are you putting on me right now? Just I'm just looking your eyebrows down. I don't have glue, so that's just the gel I use. How many square feet of skin? Do adult twenty two square feet? There is an answer right away. 22 square feet of skin. Um, okay, if I have 22 square feet of skin, I would say 5 square feet of my skin are tattooed, probably. Like, I really think I would overestimate. But, well, no, that's too much, because that's 25%. I don't even think I've made it to 25%. I think I've made it to, like, 20% of body coverage. I mean, I've got this whole arm to go, my whole back, it's a lot of skin. What do you think about yourself? Less. Less than 20%? Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of skin. There's a lot of epidermis going on. Epidermis? Lots of epidermi. Epidermis. Okay. Okay. So this is my, my real concealer, which you all know this is the lightest shade they make. Which actually is too light for me, but that works out fine. I'm going to go ahead and cover his eyebrows. Reminds me of, uh, Alice Green. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if you guys, um, I know I don't have a ton of Floridians in the chat, but I'm sure, oh, God, this is, too... this is way too light. I guess it doesn't matter. We're about to paint your face white. Um, I know we don't have a ton of Floridians in chat right now, but a lot of you guys might be familiar with, like, Halloween Horror Nights and stuff. Um, they do it in California, too. Dude, your eyebrows are so black. I can't get these covered. And he was a bartender there, so he had to be dressed up as, like, a siren every day, or a- what is a male version of a siren? A siren! Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman! Evil Aquaman. A siren. Once- once they actually got the makeup down, it was actually pretty sick. <laughs> Thank you for blowing that away from me. Yeah, that was gonna be wretched. Amber's from Florida? Hell yeah, we got another- Oh my god! What, your eyebrows? Yeah, <laughs> I, would, I would not look good without them. Holy shit. I didn't have eyebrows for a long time. Well. Oh. Well, I, I gave you a lot of having a lot of uh, coverage. Huh? So I'm used to you not having a lot of coverage. What, in terms of hair? Yeah, I feel like most people are. Are you used to me not having hair? A lot of coverage. A lot of coverage. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, look at the camera, I mean. <laughs> All right. I'm so glad that we have to cover this with white, because this is not a good job. Let me just stop you. <laughs> oh, if we were doing drag, I would probably try a little bit harder here, but we're not. We're doing corpse paint, which really... That would be so pretty if I did drag. Yeah, you probably would be. Got beautiful bone structure, and that's all that really matters. Oh. Uh, hey, my eye, dude. Yeah, that's how makeup works. It goes on your eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got gothic woman in the chat saying whoop whoop whoop. Womp womp womp. Womp womp womp. We need drink more. <laughs> to deal with this horrible imagery of yourself. No, I still look fine. You look beautiful. Your eyes are used to you. Your eyes are not used to this light, huh? Why? They're like getting pretty bloodshot on. Yeah, dude, I'm looking right into this fucking ring of harshness. Subby says you're doing a pretty nice job, Shan. You know it's pretty easy to do this. I did it in the forest. Well, okay, Subby, showing off here. 
Again, why are you always in the forest, Sebi? Last weekend you were in the forest for a different reason. <laughs> I, I feel very bonita, Mama Jean. Very bonita. Yeah. Muy bonita. Muy bonita. Mm-hmm. You said it first. All right, we're going to do your face white. Are you ready? To be pale as hail. I already am. Pale as hail. Do you or do you not feel bonita? <laughs> I already said so, mama. Gosh. <laughs> it's a TikTok trend that's going around. Right oh. Now. I don't know anything about the internet, guys. He doesn't. He is not very it. on internet brained. He has no idea. I try to tell him sometimes, and he's like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, hey, do you know who I was fighting? I listen. He listens. But... I do. She gets it out. You do get it out. You do. She has her time. She just likes to listen. She loves to, like, get the things off of her mind that she is, you know, just feeling in the moment. She's excited, and I love that. So I let her get it out. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he doesn't actually care is what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honest about it. So when I say, right. guess who just had a second lawsuit filed against them? Onision's probably going to jail. He goes, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> And that's a daily interaction in our household. Alright. Let's start at the top. Oh, Snazzer, don't do me like this. What's happening? It's just a little, like... Okay, it's starting to come through. I just needed to get greasy. It just wasn't quite getting white enough, but we're good now. I didn't shower after the gym, so my skin should be greasy, too, to help. Yeah, I actually think it's better that you're greasy. Help for the, out. It helps the grease paint. Going all the way to the hairline. I remember going to uh, a Halloween party one time as the Red Hulk. And? And I had grease paint rubbed all over me, even on my hands. And uh, I was not in the right state of mind. And uh, I, okay. I, I had it on the front of my hands, too, so every little thing that I grabbed got red and greasy. It red and didn't greasy. Care. Didn't care at the moment. But it was very unfortunate for everybody that had to deal with that. Who wasn't me, who was in their right state of mind, but... Who really would have The entire been? house is fucking red and greasy. And they're like, who did this? Why is there a red hulk or did you just make that up? No, there's a red hulk. I don't know if I believe you. It's the it's the uh you've seen the Hulk movies? Have you seen the Incredible Hulk with whoever the first guy is and then Edward Norton in no. the second one? No, I've only seen the Mark fucking... Okay, Mark. Mark has. <laughs> what is his name? Mark Ruffalo. That's his, re- that's his name. Mark Ruffalo. Sebby, you are such a vibe. I agree. I didn't see what Sebby said, but Sebby's always a vibe. Oh, Lord. You're a bit of a vibe. <laughs> I look like way. a glacier. We're getting there. Okay, I think I made a mistake in trying to cover your eyebrows with uh, concealer first. I think I should have just gone straight in with the white. So I'm going to get a paper towel and wipe this concealer off your eyebrows. Okay. Womp, womp, womp. I look like the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, I wish I knew a song from there, or else I'd fucking do it. The Phantom of the Opera is there inside my mind. No, you don't know that? No. All right, well, that's one of the fans. I just said I wish I knew. I'm just surprised. It's... Rub it in. I... Rub it in my face right now. That's not fair. I am literally, that's not fair. I am literally rubbing it in your face. <laughs> I love the fan of the opera. I saw it. So they did like a live uh, Phantom of the Opera from like Italy or something when I was like 14. And they played the live broadcast in movie theaters. So I went to the movie theater to watch it be played. Oh, the Womp Womp Womp. I am singing the James Charles Womp 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 Maxi Pads. That is exactly what I'm singing. 
There we go. Let me see, there was just getting in the work. I don't think I really need to do your eyes because we're going to do black. Uh, he... <laughs> she does this the whole time, every time. Right, I'm also going to go. part of it. She is. She is a part of the stream. I'm also going to uh, just go over his eyebrows, probably with the black, and just make that easier. Everyone in chat's womp womp womping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there going to be enough for both of us? I mean, I haven't even made it to the first thing. It's the first notch. Oh. I think we'll be good. I don't know how this works. The whole thing is just like, it's like a chalk stick, basically. So, I think it'll be good. It's hard to get it over his, uh, his stubble. I'm also putting this in your hair, so we're gonna have a shower when we're done. Like into the Together? <gasps> but that's against the way of the Lord. I... <laughs> What's in Oh. Damn it, I'm gonna have to wash this. We got grease paint in the wig. Oh yep. hell no. Yep. I had a oh. feeling. So uh, while we are at a <laughs> now you now you look like fan of the opera. <laughs> while we're at a standstill <laughs> Show you guys my fancy new wig contraption. I've got this thing. Holds my wig on. Got that on Amazon. I think it's pretty pretty schmancy. So that way I can do that. Um, But I, I am... So I fucked up this lace. It's all neon green and black, as you can see. I'm going to have to do something about that because it doesn't look very real. Toxic Cherry says, I want you to know I love your song, Be My Guide. It helped me with the loss of my mom. Aw, that means so much to me, Toxic Cherry. I'm so sorry to hear about your loss, but it really means a lot that it's helped you out a little bit. That's what it was for. Green is my favorite color. Isa. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I don't like putting that. I don't like putting this in his beard. I don't have a beard. This is gross. Yeah, it feels weird to me too, man. <laughs> We're shaved. Yeah. Planned it. Well, this yeah, this was not planned. I was just gonna do this on my own, but I'm glad he's letting me do it to him. I was instead. bored. Yeah, he has one day off and he doesn't know what to do with himself. Bored. Okay, let's see. What a goodness. I'm gonna oh. fucking see. That's cool. It peels off like one section at a time, so you are gonna look sick. So sick. Right, Scuberto Dubell. Where are you putting it down? My it's neck. right there. Your neck. Yeah, I mean, if this, if we were actually going to a show, I would probably do it to here. I'm not going to. Can <laughs> <laughs> you stop burping? No. Jesus. It's a natural human function. Oh my god, it is not chalk, Brock. It, it looks like chalk, though. It's grease paint. So Subby in our last chat kept spelling beer as bear in English. <laughs> so he was kept yeah, saying was drop this beer. Trying to figure out what the hell he was talking about. Right I there. think now he's joking because I called I said, Did you drop your beer or your bear last time? Sebi. Do they have where's he from? Romania. Do they have the movie Cocaine Bear? In, in your country yet? 
<laughs> he's what a like, ridiculous. He's like, we don't have the movie Cocaine Bear, but we have it's actual Cocaine, cocaine, cocaine yeah. Bear. <laughs> My lord. Here, swivel. Manipulate me as you swivel. please. Away from the people. A little too swiveled. Like right here. Should I take my shirt off? <laughs> if you want, you know, whatever makes you more comfortable. This is a learning experience for us all. I've never really worked with grease paints. I just picked Snazaru because, like I said, I watch beauty gurus who use it. Like horror beauty gurus. I don't have a beauty blender, which is a mistake. I really should have got a beauty blender. It looks so odd where you have your stubble. Come back. How, okay, does anyone have experience? <laughs> it looks so Not very blended. No, that's why I said I wish I had a beauty butter. Let me get a brush. Oh my god. Let me get a brush. Hold on. I look like I'm decaying slowly. That's kind of I mean, not so quickly. Not so quickly. <laughs> Process happens a little bit. Alright, I don't have a beauty blender, which I don't know if you guys heard me saying that. I really should have gotten one for that this. Black lip stick. I have a black stick that we just bought together. Oh, my lips? Yeah. Um, well, I think. I look like I could be a jester. <laughs> <laughs> Evil. I don't like it. Alright, this is my foundation. Where's it just? My foundation brush. I really, I don't know how grease paint is about to blur. But we're going to try. We're really going to try. Alright, here we go. I suppose if you look like you're rotting with corpse paint, you're doing it right. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm not too worried because... I look like I'm melting. You do look like you're melting a little bit. We got this. Oh, that's, yeah, that's better. It's already better. Get out of my armpit, I'm sweating. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you freak. Yeah, it's already looking better. Alright, look. Yeah, this side. <laughs> I look a little bit better. Oh, how do I blend this, you guys? Help me. I've never done this. It does look better. It does? Okay. <clears throat> a little bit. A little bit. I drink more. <laughs> That'll make it look better. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go try to pick up some chicks after. Metal is fuck. Alright, let me see you. Yeah, on this website, this dating website. It looks a little yeah, a little better. Swing. <laughs> We're gonna try to swing. Try to swing with some players. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Someone had too much milk, lol. He's got a full face milk mustache. <laughs> The messiest milk drinker. Does anyone in the chat say milk? If so, you need to leave. <laughs> milk. 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 Malcolm in the middle. Malcolm in the middle. Alright, I do feel like this is probably as blended as we're gonna get on the white. Uh, worst case, we can come back and redo the white. 
We're probably gonna have to do like seven layers on me, like a seven layer dip because of how Sorry. red I am. Yeah, it doesn't. Look... The camera fully makes everything look way more blotchy. I'm not supposed to get it on my hair. I'm done. Just kidding. <laughs> you said he would kill me if I did. Well, that's <laughs> that's, that's in the spirit of black metal, huh? All right. So now let's take a peek back at this reference photo, everybody. I'm as I lay dying. I try to kill my wife. Uh, Wait, is that Ian Watkins? I think so. That the lead singer of As I Lay Dying who tried to get his wife murdered. Yeah. Okay, that's Ian Watkins. I just True Crime Brain. And also I'm emo. So I definitely know that one. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so difficult. Do we do? No, 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 no. I want to do this one. We've we've committed. You have to pierce my septum first. That's why I chose this one. He also, or s slash she slash they, also has a uh, Monroe. No, that's no, not that's... Monroe. That's a uh, fuck. What is that called? Angel bite. No, I had angel bites. That's a Medusa. I'm pretty sure, and I can't remember what the bottom one is. A Libre. Oh, the bray was in your ear. I think a libre is technically in piercing. The actual barbell is the libre, is the slightly bent barbell. But I think they also call when it comes right through the middle of your lip, through the bottom of a libre. I don't know. I think. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. A Medusa. <laughs> I was like, a Medusa. Medusa. Is that what I said? What did I say? I think you said Medusa. Medusa, Tragus, I don't know. You didn't say Tragus. I think your Tragus is in your ear, actually. Okay, so an easy way to start this, it seems, like every single corpse paint kind of has this, is around the eyes is just black. And this person's wearing Scalera lenses, um, which we obviously, well, not obviously, but I don't have Scalera lenses right now. I did back in the day. Um, so we're, we'll just go around the eye in black. I don't want cholera lenses anyway. Cholera <laughs> lenses. Scalera, that's the part of your eye. I'm pretty sure the whole white part of your eye is your Scalera. Goodbye. 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 We're getting to the good part. He left. What the fuck? All right, I'll just start on my own. He's coming back. I think. He didn't tell me he was. I just made that up. What the hell? I How did I accidentally click to this? I'm literally just, like, trying to click through black metal face paint, and it brings me to beautiful face paint. This is exactly the opposite of what I wanted. Back, please. You got cholera now? I do not have cholera. Alright. So like I said, wait, god damn it, we lost it. Where is it? Like, hold on, go back. I'm going back. No, go back to where you just were. Not back, back, back. Back, back, back. back too far now. Oh, jeez. This is the same. Right, this, this is the same back. Go down. I like that one better anyway. Choosing the most goddamn intricate. Okay, this is actually gonna be easier though. <laughs> this is a skeleton. Skeleton look, but I can do that actually. I have a lot of I have a lot of practice with skeleton looks, so let's go ahead and just do this, man. It's cracked. Cracked. Cracked out skeleton. Out skeleton. Cracked out skeleton. Hi, Brock. Brock's been here. Bye, Brock. <laughs> Got some sort of sick obsession with salutations. <laughs> sick obsession with salutations by Fallout Boy. <laughs> that literally sounds like a Fallout Boy sound. A sick obsession with salutations. Okay. Hi, bye. I don't even know what to say. That was pretty good. Alright, so I'm just doing big black circles. Stop. <laughs> no, you just got all fucked up. What do you prefer? Do you want me to 
be surprised or do you want no, me to I be angry? You, I want you to be neutral. Super angry. No, neutral. For now. <laughs> Angrized. Hi, Brock. <laughs> Stop entertaining him. Actually, continue on. That's my job. Alright, we're gonna have to do multiple coats of black because it's turning gray. With the white. But that's okay. Alright, I need you to keep your eyes closed, but like, look up. I understand the instruction. <laughs> okay, do you? Do you understand the instruction? I'm professional. Profesh, bro. Alright, look at me. Look at them. <laughs> Alright, we got the eye carved out. Which is kind of what he has. Except his is actually bigger, but it's fine. We'll make it bigger as we go. So, while we're... I'm just gonna stay on this eye. I'm trying to do this. If you can look at them just a little bit while I do this. I'm trying to do this as jagged as possible. <laughs> He's a bur burpy man today. I'm drinking carbonated beverages. Drinking watermelon. Whoops, sorry. Yo, I look like Zuko. The Wait, best way to do corpse paint is outline the black bits you want in either color, then color the rest in white and do the black. Yeah, you know what? That's what I figured, but you know what? This is actually turning out kind of cool now that I'm doing the this part, so I'm not too worried about it. But I do agree. I think I'm going to go over a lot of this in, um, in, like, maybe a black eyeshadow just to darken it. Yeah. Yeah, I do, Maxi Pad. <laughs> man's got gas. Man's always got gas. Dude, listen. A struggle. Daily. <laughs> the fun part is if I just literally do that, it looks good again. Yeah, I thought about carving it all out, but it's just so much work, dude. So we still need time to go pick up chicks, bro. <laughs> After this. Yo, Rachel's is right down the road. You mean on the internet, bro? All right. Yo, the internet's right down the road. <laughs> the internet's right down the road. <laughs> What's happening? Are you having a standoff? A Western standoff? That was anticlimactic. Yeah, it was. Spike. Come on. Get him! <laughs> Dude! They obviously don't actually fight. Someone's gonna be like, you breeding fighting dogs. <laughs> Alright, cool. So this is eye number one. <laughs> You're right. Actually, do that again for me. <laughs> no, open your eyes closed. Just, you're too wrinkly. <laughs> Can you go like this? Like, like, stretch your eyelids out but with them closed. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, hell yeah. That was weird instruction. How is that a weird? That's a super normal instruction for makeup. Okay, you can stop. I'm gonna do the other eye. Yeah. 
So now I'm doing the eye that you guys can actually see. Which is good. Gucci. My pug barks when your dogs bark. That's so funny. Is it loud? <laughs> what? Kissing on the broadcast? No. <laughs> So now I'm. <laughs> I have a white nose. No kissing on YouTube. It's against the terms of service. Lay brown for Jesus. For Jesus? As you're doing like the most satanic makeup pot. Leave room for Jesus, everybody. We. I wish this dating app was like Christian Mingle. That would have made this so much funnier. Farmers only. <laughs> Emo farmer only. I don't. I didn't say farmers because there's only one. I'm gonna wipe this off. Am I doing mine after I am? Yeah, I will be doing mine right after his, which we'll do maybe a slightly different method when I do mine. Just see what happens. Do the actual carve out method. Oh, whoa, that was scary. <laughs> I just like flicked his eyelid up, but I saw his whole eye and then I didn't like it. Sometimes he sleeps with his eyes open too. It scares the fuck out of me. I'll like wave at him. What did he do the other night when you were like a few weeks ago when you were drinking a little bit? I don't, oh! I don't remember. Okay, so this man comes home. Speaking of metal shit, he came home from work he had a few drinks after work and he mm. falls asleep on the couch right falls asleep on the couch i'm staying up i'm working on my shit on my laptop or whatever i look over he's been asleep for like two hours and like actual rem sleep and all of a sudden his hand goes <laughs> and i looked at him and i thought he was joking and i looked at him for a long while and then i didn't say anything went back to my side i was like he's dreaming he's fucking dreaming he's at a show went back to my shit I look again, like, half an hour passes again, and he just goes. <laughs> I was like, I was like, this guy's got to be king. And so I just kept looking at him like this, like, while he's asleep on the couch, and finally he cracked a smile and started laughing his ass off. Well, I was like, okay, he's fucking with me. He's awake. The next morning, I was like, that was pretty funny, babe. And he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you, like... You know, pretending that you were sleeping and being in a fucking mosh pit or whatever you were doing. And he was like, genuinely, what are you talking about? He had no idea. It was in his sleep slash slightly drunken half consciousness. Yeah. It was so funny. It was really funny. That was maybe one of the funniest things you've ever done and you didn't even really do it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Your unconscious is hilarious. Alright. So again, we got all the black carved out. Seems like feathery light strokes are the way to go here. What are our neighbors listening to? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was them, right? That yeah, yeah. Our neighbors are listening to some sort of, like, reggaeton, like, mm, dun, 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 but it just went, <laughs> I have no idea what they're listening to.
It looks pretty cool, I think. Yo, it definitely does. I'm about halfway, so we still got some cooler stuff to do. The actual, so this is like skull makeup, which like I said, I have a lot of familiarity with skull makeup. I actually have one of like the most popular skull makeup tutorials on the internet. Or at least I did several years ago. Obviously, obviously, hey, I'm not being as tedious about it. Ooh, that's a cool method. Dragging it down my finger. Ooh, that looks really cool, actually. Making it look a little bit more feathered like that. There we go. Okay, eyes are done. So let's go back to our reference dope. photo. It does look pretty fucking dope. I wish we had those Scalera lenses. I wish we were going to a show. Right? Let's go! <laughs> I wish we had those fucking lenses. Okay, so... Just shove my thumbs in my eyes really quick. Oh. Let's not do that. <laughs> Maybe not quite. We're going for an emo tutorial, right? Well, you know what you could do? Are you, are you comfortable doing makeup in your eyes? No, like not even doing it to yourself. Like Ew. how I do... Oh, I do a line. No, no. Okay, I was going to see if he would do his own waterline. I don't trust myself to do other people's waterlines, really. But he doesn't want to do that, so we're not going to do that. Waterline. The... A spot that shouldn't be touched is what it is. All right, well, he's going waterlineless. It would look more, like, to the eyeball. If you Do you see how it's black, like, on this part here? It's close enough. Okay. As long as it's close enough for you. It's close enough for me, then. It's close enough. Close enough. That's a bit too emo. Well, emo is not quite the vibe we're going for today. We're a little bit beyond. Isaiah Hi, Brock. What's up? That's not Brock. That's Isaiah. I'm, just, I'm talking to Brock. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Seth only wants the dog to Brock. <laughs> Brock is the man. All right, we're gonna do your nose now. Here's some metal vocals. I want to kill myself. No. <laughs> That's a Wookie. And then a synth. What band is this that we're emulating? Kill myself. This is Ghost. A band ghost. I will fucking die. I fucking die. It's too good. I'm gonna get too emo here. Yeah, we're gonna get signed with Rise Records. No. That was the only record label I ever had a chance with, was Rise. And I said, no! <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I gotta be... I gotta be extra precise here. Try not to, uh... Trying not to. Okay. Couldn't even finish my thought. Because I was trying so hard not to do it. Alright, there we go. I just didn't want to connect the white. I needed some white. And we got that, so we're good. I gotta look at my reference again. Okay, it goes all the way. think of, of the nose 
I look like a juggalo. <laughs> yeah, you do look like a juggalo. <laughs> you do look like a juggalo. We love it. <laughs> Apparently, we have a, lo a love, uh, a love inquisition. Is that the cor correct words happening in here? Hello, Minty. We we love that. Go be free, Good friends. See you. Minty, what's up? Minty is our first honorary member. Sam was loving enough to. You can gift people memberships, so Sam gifted a membership. The first one of the channel. This is lore. Say they're up shattered lore. Nacho sauces looks great, which is really all that I needed was nacho sauces approval, so. Fuck yeah, nacho sauce. Alright. Here we go. Now we're moving on to the, the mouth. The mouth. The mouth is the next. This is probably the most intricate thing that we're going to have to do. But I can do this without even looking. So actually, to start the mouth, you do the cheekbones, which I'm going to start from his hair hairline. <laughs> Brock's what? killing it with the comments. Yeah, Brock is my favorite. Brock has like the most unhinged commentary throughout the chat always. <laughs> but we're here for it. What did he say? Hey there, he's Seth. He is. Hey there, he's Seth. Okay, I'm gonna do your mouth with this. Is that okay? I don't have black lipstick. I have this. Hold on. I prefer... Okay, so in looking at this, you'd prefer if I did it. Well, if that's... you didn't get it on my lips. That kind of sucks ass, because if you look at the reference Your picture... lips are white. Yeah, but then on the inside, like, literally the inside of his lips is black. I keep saying his, but I actually don't think this is a he. Okay, this person's lips is white, and has black on the very inside that, like, trails out. Huh. Are you okay with that? Sure. Okay. We trying to make this official! Official! Official. Very official. Official. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna cover his lips. Sorry, my love. It's really funny that you hate things on your lips too because i was actually just talking with chat uh on friday when i was doing my makeup about how much i hate they were asking me when i do makeup looks live if i keep it on or not and i said sometimes i'm not gonna lie i've never even told you this i like to keep it on until you get home just for like four seconds of validation and then i take it off just like so someone who's in real life can see it <laughs> you know um also sometimes i keep it on the film but i hate I hate the way that makeup feels on my lips. Okay, open your mouth for me. Like, just like this. Dude, boys and people who have never worn makeup are always so funny when you're like, open your mouth. <laughs> oh, I did the Kim K lips. Kim K? Kim, Kim K. Oh, okay. I was like, who's King K? Kim, the Kim K. King K. Rool, dude. That's who I thought you meant. King K. Rool Kong. from Donkey Kong. <laughs> That's really what I thought you meant. King K. Rool. Yeah, because when you're dead, you get this, like... Dead. <laughs> it was dead. Close your lips. Get this like dead look on the inside of your your lips. All the color fades except this like gross purpley color in the middle.
now let me let me look at the reference picture. We're getting there. We're getting there. There was a side picture that this person had, I swear. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, I see. I see, I see, I see. So it's like very blended out. I went pretty high with yours. Oh, I can still blend it, it's fine. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm looking at this side picture, sorry, I wasn't showing you guys. All right, this part's blended out like the actual cheekbone. Seth has much higher cheekbones than this person actually. So it made it a little bit closer to the eye, but that's fine, we'll still blend it out and then we'll do like the last tooth, like mid cheek. I got this, oops, sorry. I got this. Sarah, welcome. I feel like I haven't seen you in quite a while. It's good to see you. <laughs> I said this thing hello. Hopefully that didn't terrify you. All right. Let's go. Actually, one more. One more look. Okay, right in the middle. Yep. All right, look at me. What's up, Jim? Scared talking. Okay, the hardest part is this pencil is, like, no longer sharp. Kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever. Hold on, I need to look at this picture while I do this. Look up if you can. Again, your, your facial hair is making this much harder. Can you go like this? Thank you. Perfect. You can stop doing that. Sorry, this is the no talky talky part of the stream where I have to focus. Can you do that thing with the other lips again? Thank you. You probably didn't do this. It looks cool as fuck. Ah. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, open your mouth one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny to you? <laughs> I'm a little wide. Hey! Hey! You just wanted a sneak peek. Oh! Oh! On the tooth! On the sharp tooth! Sorry, my love. <laughs> Alright, if you want. Here. Oh no. My darling. <laughs> My sweet little boy, I say, as you look like this. Mm. Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't like the way that sounded. <laughs> I was just trying to make you sound all innocent. Like, yeah, like, that was a little gross sounding. Yeah, when I was like, Ew! 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 Yeah, that is gross. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> my innocent, my innocent, sweet. Shut up, man. Yeah, I'll just stop. <laughs> All right, let me get let me get some eyeshadow. I'm myself from this conversation. Ouch. My soul hurts. 
This diddler is trying to fucking get with me. No. Don't. How do I drink this? I need a straw. You do need a straw. Can we get a wawa after we... this? Didn't we just go? Meaning you? Oh, yeah, I know. We cannot go to wawa looking like that. We cannot. Yeah, I know that, um, <laughs> that sentence came out way wrong. I was just trying to make him sound all innocent and cutesy while looking like that, and it really, uh, backfired on me there. It just sounded really gross. You want to do mine? That might ruin my, <laughs> my plans. No. Yeah. yeah, that might ruin No chance. I'm not artistic in that fashion. He's very artistic. And I said in that fashion. Yeah, I know. I was just, I was just saying. I'm very artistic, just not, like. When it comes to makeup. Or art. Music. You're very artistic when it comes to music. What are you talking about? I, uh, no, that's what I was saying. Oh, I thought you were saying or art or music. music. There's definitely some intim intimacy in chat right now. Keep it PG. Keep room for Jesus. As long as y'all guys are basically the same age and everything's consensual, do your thing, friends. Make friends. Bye, Brock. Make friends, make lovers, make whatever. If I show my butt, do you get banned? Probably. <laughs> I don't know, actually. That's a good question. But only? I don't know if that violates terms of service, but let's not try. I don't know if I should be rooting for them. Honestly, I haven't been reading chat, like, as much as you guys probably have, so I don't know if I should be rooting for them either. But, like I said, y'all are the same age and everything's consensual. I guess I'm rooting for you. <laughs> we love that. We fell in love in a hey there, I'm Shannon chat. I'm reacting. Yeah, because I'm busy. <laughs> Gosh! Is that pumpkin soda? It's not pumpkin soda. It's a pumpkin beer. Oh, I it's thought this... It's not pumpkin at all. Oh, it just says something, it's a, something. It's a little some something, something. It's a little some something, something. It's not pumpkin. Balaganitas. I was going to say, I don't taste pumpkin at all. It's pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I've got some of my black eyeshadow on a brush, and I'm going to blend out this. You can, you can do your thing. And after I blend this out, I'm going to go through and I'm going to cover every black part in uh, eyeshadow. If you're waiting for me to stop, I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not going to be done for a minute. All right, turn, show them that. No. Yes, sir. Yes, that one. I don't know the physics. Yeah, stay there. I sometimes don't know the physics. I pretty much every time I point to something behind me, I point the wrong way every time. Okay, cool. That's all mostly blended. Cool. All right, give me the other side. Fell in love in an emo chat room. That is how I met your mother, bro. We, uh, we met at a bar that we both worked at. I asked Unfortunately. For his... <laughs> Unfortunately. I asked for his phone number 87 times in one conversation. Well, three. it was there was three times still. That's pretty embarrassing. Anyone ever done that? I I was drinking and I was li I literally had my tab in front of me because I felt like I had had enough and I was gonna leave. And then he sat down and so I started talking to him. I had to have another drink. Kept drinking. I asked for his phone number because I liked how things were going. I got his phone number and then like kept talking to him and then I asked for his phone number again. He told me he already gave it to me. We kept talking. I asked for his phone number again. <laughs> In the parking lot, I think, so at least I waited a little bit. I could all you Desperate. <laughs> it wor Be desperate, it works. JK. Just kidding, don't. 
I have a very specific. I have a very specific uh, quirky charm that works. Ow! That works to my advantage. She likes to pinch me. Ow! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> the chair tips. I went to shift my weight to get away from the pinch. A fucking chair fell over. <laughs> I damn it! You're so annoying. Can say I have a quirk charm to me that You're clumsy We're... charm. I am very clumsy, apparently. I I tried to deny it for a long time, but yesterday I ran in the house for like half a second to grab a jacket. And I, I just like smashed my head on the wall. <laughs> Constantly. Uh, you have twelve bumps. Dude, I did. I had a few really bad bumps on my head at the same time. It was not good. All right, let me fix some things up, and then we're almost done with you. Do you want a defined line up until, like, there? It's okay, everybody. You're sparking dogs to bark across the globe. That's right. Oh my god! <laughs> Mute. Hey. Oh wait. Oh no. My mic no longer mutes on my uh, my stream deck. Damn it! I can't even mute it how I want to. Right? Check, check. Okay, yeah, it's still going. Damn it! Yes, Ash, thank you. Don't forget to like the stream, everybody. It's a free way to help your girl. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you guys would like to become a member, that's the greatest way that you can help support the channel. Um, speaking of, while I'm, while I'm finishing out Seth's look here, I went to the post office, we actually both went to the post office today to try to ship the bracelets for VIP members, and I fucking hate the United States Postal Service, you guys. It is just, like, like the worst corporation on earth. I moved recently, like you guys know, I moved into this apartment, and so my, my car registration and my license have a different address on it than where I currently live. I tried to get a P.O. box... Um, because a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to get a P.O. box, and also I need a return address to send stuff like your bracelets. And, uh, because my shit didn't match, like, my addresses didn't match, they wouldn't give me a P.O. box. Which is so frustrating, because it's like, you need a place where we deliver mail in order to sign up to get a place where we can deliver your mail. Like, that's just so classist, and... Honestly, just bullshit. Like, what about homeless people who want a place to get their mail delivered? They can't because they don't have a home. Like, that's so fucked up. Um, so I couldn't get a P.O. box. If I want to get a P.O. box, I have to literally, like, re-register my car and go to the DMV. So I'm gonna go to a private post office, uh, in the next few days here, slash just sign up with stamps.com and get it sent, but I really apologize, it's a little bit delayed, um... So, and, and you know what the worst part is? That post office, I told you guys I was having issues. That post office that wouldn't give me one today, <laughs> over 20 minutes away. Anyway, so I would have to drive 20 plus minutes just to pick up my fucking mail. Um, yeah, I promise I'm going to get them set out within the week. It's just, the post office gives me a fucking impossible time every time. And they're always mean to me. Except this time they were nice to me. They just failed me. Okay. God damn. Don't burn my nostrils. Ew. Okay. That's done. I'm just gonna take a little bit more black and go around your eyes with uh with the black eyeshadow. Yeah, it does it does really suck, Ash. I appreciate your sympathy. Like I just want you to guys to know that I am fucking trying. It's just that I don't know, we just pick the worst place. We live right next to the airport in our city, a uh, major United States airport. So, unfortunately, like like I said, the post office closest to me, 
the po- they're out of P.O. boxes, the one, like, right next to us, the private one. And then the next one doesn't have P.O. boxes. And then the third one, which is 20, 25 minutes away, couldn't give me a P.O. box because I moved recently. So it's going to happen, but I, I just want you guys to know that I really am trying. And I, I do apologize for the delay, so... It's it's a pain in the ass. There we go. Okay, right, that's looking less washy. Alrighty. Other eye, please. <laughs> just for fun all right i think you're good to go what do you think it's pretty good babe yeah i think it looks pretty good too i like it all right put your hair down now let's see it with the metal ass hair it's gonna stick Oh no! Uh, Why did you shake it like that? Because otherwise it's gonna stick out. Look at him. Let's go. Everywhere. Dude, that looks really sick, actually. That is dope as hell. Yeah. Okay. Looks like I should be in Kiss. That looks way too hard for Kiss. Maybe if you had a little, like, heart on the side, then you could be in Kiss. Dude, put a heart right here. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Alright, well. I could if I could find her. The snazzaroo! Oh, my hair is so fine. It sticks everywhere. He looks good with the makeup on. Yeah, he does. yeah your hair is really fine. There it is. There it is. Ow! What did I do? I pulled something. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Okay, you want one right next to your eye? There, it's kind of hard. It's losing its, uh, <laughs> it's losing its edge here. There it is. Hold on, I do have regular eyeliner I can do. I can fix it with. Here we go. BM World, welcome. Good to see your name again. I'm gonna fix this heart right here. Oh yeah, that looks way better already. There it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Our heart boy. All right. I believe you're you're complete here. Now it's my turn, but I really have to pee, so I'm gonna go pee really quick. Okay. Keep going, Captain. Shit. Captain Shit. Just gonna take a pee. Deal with me now, everybody. Hey there. I'm Seth, and I'm. Making fun of my girlfriend as she is gone currently. I uh, I like long walks on the beach, so my hair can flow, and uh, pina coladas. I don't like either of these things. I like to be at the beach for about an hour. And then I'm bored. I gotta play some frisbee or something. Maybe get a drink. Then do something else. I can't sit around for too long. I don't know. There's, there's 
too much uh, anxiety in sitting still for me. It's me. It's longer than usual. What, to pee? <laughs> Took me 40 seconds instead of 30? You talking about the beach? Yeah. Oh, I want to go to the beach so bad. The sand is god awful. I can, like, respect that opinion, but I do not understand it at all. People who are like, the beach is so gross. I guess I've grown up in Florida, so I think it's just, like, the best. What are you typing? Shh. <laughs> talk. talk. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm intrigued. You know it's going to show up under my name, right? Yeah. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Bears, Beats, and Battlestar Galactica. It's from The Office. Oh, I don't like The Office. Dwight. Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica. Is that your personality? Is Dwight? Dwight? No, not at all. It's Jim. My personality is Jim the main character, yeah. Jim and Pam. Like, main character uh, They're the main, like, I love would of... call them the main characters of The Office, yes. But, but that's, that is Jim, right? The younger guy, the young guy with the blondish hair. It's brown. It's light brown. Yeah, I never got... <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> I don't give a shit. I never got into The Office. I didn't like it. But you know what? I did rewatch some episodes um, as an adult, like, after I had worked in... Okay, I think the reason I didn't like it when I was growing up was I always worked for myself. I was an MD. That was, like, the only group working I ever had Dude, to do. Dude, Ash is going to unfollow you now. Thanks. Way to go. Because <laughs> I don't like The Office. Well, I'm explaining why. So I gave... I watched it. Yeah, because you're a loser. I am a loser. So I watched it most of the way through when I was younger and I was an MDE. And I just didn't get it because I... I had never worked a real job. Your girl had never worked with other people besides fucking Brian Stars. So I didn't really get it. <laughs> Shut up. Get out of here. Can you get that? Can you can you say that's probably like respectable though? Like I didn't get why it was funny because I had never worked in an office or anything like that where the like that kind of camaraderie thing happened. Like People were friends and stuff like that, and not just influencers fighting each other. Once I started working in bars and in restaurants, and I watched some of it back, I was like, oh, this is actually funny because I've been through this kind of shit now, but... No. <laughs> it's not. No, you can't. I don't know why I asked. But, yeah, no, I do I, I do think it's funny now that I've... So gassy. Yeah. Go, go take a Pepsi to you, you gross. I think I'm going to do the same for myself just to make life easier. Just do the same exact type thing. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out. Can you give me the mirror in the bathroom? The handheld mirror. Seth is an e-boy. <laughs> the scariest fucking e-boy ever. What am I going to do? That handheld mirror. Maxie says even ha still having that uh, working experience is still not that funny. It's funnier, though. It is funnier. I'll give it that. It's still not the funniest. Like, I know people, like, ride for that show to the death. It's not that funny. Um, but there is an element of humor that I didn't quite understand until I worked in a regular, regular job with, like, a bunch of people that became my family, you know? Seth should do my makeup. I I wanted Ouch. Seth to do my makeup, but he's he's not going to. And a part of the reason we're doing this is I do have like a sponsorship, which I, I before we started this stream, I kind of joked like, what if they get mad at me for doing this? There's this dating app, which again, it was not pitched to me as a dating app when I accepted the sponsorship and signed the contract and everything. It was pitched to me as like an Omegle chat roulette type app. Which I was like, cool, I get on and do some fucking stupid ass shit. Well, I sign up for the app. It's a dating app. And like I said earlier, they have the option for um for swingers to sign up, like as couples seeking out people to like join 
their couple or their polyamory. I, I don't remember what they call it, a polycule or whatever. Which, obviously, the two of us are not polyamorous. But I did think it would be, like, con- and obviously I'm not looking for anyone in a dating app at all. So, which is why I was like, okay, if I can bring my boyfriend on, I'll feel a little less weird sifting through uh, through profile matches on a dating app after I get off this stream. But I thought it would be really funny to do it in, like, some super extreme ass makeup and see if if we could find anyone who wanted to date us slash me before I realized we could do it as a couple. So, we'll see. A little bit inspired by Johnny's um, being bullied on Omegle for being emo video, but I'm taking it to the next level. Looking for a third. Yeah, I mean, power to you if you are. We're not, actually. This is just for fun to see if anyone will actually say yes. I'm gonna set- I'm gonna set the parameters to be, like, the entire Earth. So, I hopefully don't get anyone that's actually close to us and actually interested. It'll just be for fun. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Babe, can you bring the pen when you come back? Yeah. Thank you. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry too. That's why I want the pen. I'm a little rumbly. Feeling kind of gross. I don't know. Are you going to cook? I don't think... You guys, it sucks so bad. So we cook. Slash... I cook because he's been working like six days a week up until recently. I cook like three times a day. We try to eat at home all the time for both financial reasons and like health benefits. And it's just, it's so tiring. And like the most tiring part is fucking having to buy groceries. We buy like $100 of groceries. We cook like eight times and then fucking it's gone. Not even eight times, like six times. It's gone. And that's two days. Two days! It's not enough days! Why does it never last? Wait, what do you get uneasy about, Sebi, when I talk about what? Because I see Krista saying it's not scary, you meet really like-minded couples. Oh, are you talking about, um... You're talking about actual, like, people who truly are into swinging and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's, that's not, for some reason that seems to be, like, more of an older people's game. Um, probably because they've been married for, like, 20 plus years and they're, like, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they've, they've been with each other enough. They're like, I clearly love you. We've been together for fucking 30 years. Let's go fuck some other people, but... I don't personally ever see myself being that way. I don't see Seth ever being that way either. Oh my god, I thought that was pumpkin. I literally thought that was fucking pumpkin. <laughs> She's so fat, man. For those of you who don't know, Taki is our spooky pup. She's only got one eye. Look, 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 shut up. Oh, Poppage. Poppage. He got her uh, before we ever met. And the people who he bought her from, you can explain, said that her eye was just never there. Yeah, allegedly she was born without it. And then I talked to uh, a different vet and they said it got scooped out. So, who knows? Yeah, they, I mean, yeah, when we, we both, the bar we met at that we both worked at, we had a veterinarian was one of our, like, customers that came basically every day, and he was like, yeah, this dog was not born without an eye, someone took this eye out, and super sketchy, and fucked up, and I feel so bad for her, but she's the sweetest, she is a baby, she is a baby, um, Pumpkin was also a little abused girl. I don't really know what her deal was. I just know that she was, like, used for breeding before I got her. Oh, there she is! There's a pumpkin! 
Um, and she, as soon as I got her, I was very aware just by her behavior that she was very scared of men. In particular, she did not like men. Um, even, even sometimes with Seth and, like, my dad and stuff, she gets real pissy and defensive, but she's getting better. I've had her for a lot of years now, so. Are you okay? She's slipping, baby. <laughs> she's slipping and sliding. Yeah, no, we got some, we got some emo poppages. I've always been, um... In adopt. It's Novalin. It is Novalin. Novalin, hey, I, I know I didn't explicitly say hi to you. I've seen you in the chat. I was actually telling Seth about your name because we were talking about, not that I'm we're having a baby or anything. I have an IUD that's not happening for a long time, but we were talking about potential baby names because we were with a bunch of his little nephews the other day, and I brought up your name because I think it's just so beautiful. Novalin. His family liked the name Lennon. I was telling you guys that for a girl. He doesn't, though, so. It's a veto. <laughs> yeah, all of, all of our dogs. I've always been very, like, adopt, don't shop. Did I even hit that? No. no. I just let it fall on the floor. Oh. What? Let it fall on the floor. <laughs> Scooby was also a rescue. I got him when he was a very little, little puppy. Um, he was actually five weeks old when I found him at a, uh, at a shelter. And he was rescued from a kill shelter to a non-kill shelter. Um, because he was, like I said, I think the legal adopting out age is eight months or eight months, I'm sorry, eight weeks, and he was five weeks, so they were just gonna euthanize him, which is fucking insane to me, it's like, this puppy is too much of a puppy, we need to put it down, so the non-kill shelter was literally across the street, adopted him, and then jacked up his adoption price to, I think he was 400 or something, instead of like 30, but I was like, I, I need this puppy, and he was saved, he was, he was chosen, they found him in a box, when he was like, like I said, four weeks or something, he was like, he wasn't even that big, dude. This dog must have came out like this big. When I when I adopted him, he was already like this big, and he was only five weeks old. I don't understand how animals do that. Can you imagine like that Impractical Jokers episode we just watched where Sal helped give birth to that? I'm talking to you to that cow. Like, how does something come out from gestation? at like 50 pounds already you know it's pretty crazy he's doing the dishes in corpse paint <laughs> whatever as long as the dishes get done <laughs> it's more fun in corpse paint <laughs> Nacho said, I want to get an IUD, but I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was It's one of the most painful things I've ever done. And, like, I think one of the most fucked up things about it is, like, the fact that they don't warn you. It's one of the most painful things that you'll ever do because, I mean, your girl is pretty covered in tattoos. I've had every part of my face pierced. I have a high pain threshold. I mean, I've gotten... For 20 years, I got over 100 shots in my head once a month. I have a high pain threshold, and that shit sucked so bad. Like, I can't, I genuinely can't believe that they don't have an option to be knocked out when you get it inserted, because if I could barely take it, I don't know how other people are, because, like I said, I have one of the highest pain tolerances of anyone I've ever met. What is an IUD? Well, not not too much information, but it's uh, I believe it stands for interuterine device. <laughs> um, it's it's birth control, but it's like a physical piece. 
of birth control. The only reason that we brought it up is, oh no, is because I was talking about baby names and how I'm not having a baby, but I'm still talking about baby names. God damn it. So, oh, extra goddamn it. Look at all the dog hair on that. <laughs> Ew. My house is not that dirty, but that really is a testament to otherwise. That's atrocious. It's the, like, under my desk is, like, the one spot that the Roomba cannot get to, so. Oh, Lord. Hey, Brock. <laughs> not. Is he actually, did he even say anything? No. No, he's not even in the chat anymore. Hi, Brock. <laughs> Hi, Brock. Dude, I'm hungry. Should I make that spaghetti? Spaghetti and what? I don't know. Olive oil. Sounds kind of lame. I don't, I don't care. Okay. Whatever, I'll eat whatever you make. <laughs> the shrimp's not ready yet. I know it's not. And there's not enough meat to make the sauce. Oh no. Well, I can do it without meat. But I'm not available at the moment. Yeah. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep. Yeah, mama, I'm here. Did you just call me mama? No, I'm talking to Mama Jin. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh, since when? I don't know if I like that. I ship Seth and Brock. No! <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, shipping. See, this is how anti internet this man is. Shipping is, like, it's short for relationship. Oh, I guess that makes no sense in normie terms, because that would be, I relationship you. It means you want to see those two people in a relationship. I ship you. Like, a lot of times, like, one of the bigger ships in emo music was Kellen Quinn and uh, uh, Vic Fuentes. People wanted a... Kellic was the ship name. <laughs> That's the reaction I get a lot of times when I explain internet things. It's just... <laughs> that explains what Beth means. What? Brock and Seth. Oh, Brock and Seth. Beth. Hashtag Beth. Hashtag Beth for life. Uh, Johnny and Kyle were Connie. Was like one of the most epic ships of our time. Also. Made a lot of people angry <laughs> hashtag Connie that's something I haven't said out loud in a decade almost all right I'm gonna take this town onto my neck not Kellick dude Kellick Connie it doesn't get anywhere I I'm trying to think of examples of people he knows Very few people. <laughs> it is not a lot. The other day, uh, we had one of his friends over um, who watches our dogs a lot. He's a really nice guy. Uh, he works with him. And he's also kind of like a metalhead. And we were taking turns, like, putting on different... We were all drinking and stuff, and he stayed over at our house. And we were taking turns putting on different songs. And he actually put on King for a day. And Seth had... That oh, that was you? Well, Seth put on King for a day, and he was shocked to find out that Kellen, Kellen, Quinn before. Kellen was white. He was fully convinced that in his head that Kellen Quinn was a small Asian guy. And I was like, I mean, I guess I could maybe see where he got that, but also, no, <laughs> that's not who Kellen Quinn is. <laughs> I don't like that version of Is that how he sings? We love, we love Kellen in this house. Just kidding. I mean, not just kidding. Maybe just kidding. I don't know. We're neutral. We're impartial. He really does have an incredibly high voice, though. But yeah, no, you said that, like, he likes some Sleepy Siren songs. 
and he genuinely had no idea what, what he looked like, which is fair. I didn't know what the my favorite band looked like for like 10 years, which is Muse. Vic is my, yeah, well, we're not talking about Vic. I know Vic is. We were specifically talking about Kel, and he pictured him as a, like, smaller Asian man, and I was like, I mean, are you okay? Damn it. Yeah. Are you okay? You didn't get cut? No. He just broke a glass all over. It was the ghost of Kelly Quinn. (laughs) It was the ghost of Kelly Quinn. Oh, no. That's not good. Watch out, Bubbles. Watch out. Haven't listened to them in years. Well, I, I still like a lot of their songs, for sure, for nostalgia reasons. Absolutely sorry. I'm distracted. I'm just trying to make sure none of the dogs come in here. They're fine. I'm okay. Here. We broke a glass. It shattered yeah. everywhere. And by we, I mean you, but... I'll take responsibility, because we were were a team. My immediate concern for him, Samantha, believe it or not, what's really funny is he he gets driven crazy, because as soon as I notice, like, something is slightly off with him, I'm like, are you okay? Are you good? Are you okay? And he's like, I'm fine. (laughs) Yes, ma'am, I'm okay all the time. But yeah, no, he he broke one of our glasses. Oh, well. Oh, well. Black metal magic spells is a catastrophic situation. Yeah, that must be what it is. Just existing as a black metal queen. Just breaking glasses. It's part of the nature of the beast. I'm scared for my back surgery. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Novlin. It might be outside, babe. What kind of back surgery is it? That sounds pretty intense. I'm sure you'll be okay. I'm sending all the all the love in the world, though. I'm sure it's gonna go great, and you're gonna feel better on the other side, and everything's gonna work out for the positive. But I'm sending hugs your way. I broke a whole set of glasses, now I just use plastic. That's what I should do. I try to be an official adult with, like, glassware and shit. Honestly, this is such a glow up for me because my last relationship, I broke, like, several of his nice glassware and he would fucking yell at me. And now... We just break each other's shit and we're like, LOL, that was funny. (laughs) (laughs) One of my favorite moments in my life, this uh, this is more for Seth than it is for chat to hear this, but when I worked at the bar that we met at, we had this coworker named Nicole, who is just the funniest fucking girl in the world. And she was carrying a stack of shot glasses. When you're a bartender, you get used to, like, carrying 40 glasses at once. You just stack them and hold them down like this, and they, like, hang over your shoulder. They usually won't fall. Well, she had it, except when they're shot glasses, because they're only this big, and, like, the lip catching the other ones like this. She had a stack of, like, 50 shot glasses, like, literally, like, above her head, and they're only this big. So probably, like, 30, 40 shot glasses, if I'm being realistic. She fucking dropped all of them <laughs> and shattered like literally 30 shot glasses. And this girl, she she her favorite artist is Taylor Swift. She's like the sweetest. She acts like Taylor Swift. Looks at me and goes, oops. <laughs> and then walks away like nothing happened. And it was fantastic. I have never cared that little in my life. I care way too much about everything. I would have been mortified. And she's like, oops. <laughs> You just broke all our shot glasses, Nicole. I feel like I'm at a point where, like, I don't care about how this looks anymore. Yours is just gonna turn out so much cooler than mine. I mean, it's much harder to do something to yourself than it is to somebody else. That is actually totally not true. 
at least when it comes to makeup, I feel like, for a lot of people. Um, I can do eyeliner, obviously, on myself really well, but... What? What's going on? What are you freaking out about, dude? Keep You're talking. It's just like looking... I don't know. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, man! Um... When it comes to doing makeup, like, I could do eyeliner on myself really fucking good, but I cannot do a good wing and eyeliner on anyone else. It's, like, impossible. BM World is asking, does that come out of your paycheck? Uh, the broken shot glasses? Well, Nicole luckily was a manager, <laughs> so she can do whatever the fuck she wanted. Um... I don't, it depends on the bar, like, I feel like if you worked at a place, like, I don't know, a corporate place, that might come out of your paycheck, but we've all, Seth and I have always worked at, like, local neighborhood type bars, uh, where the owners are usually, like, kind of your friends a little bit, so no, I mean, shit happens when, when you, especially, like, when you're working with the general public and they're drunk. Shit happens, but no, I was just, I mean, I still would have felt really bad if I broke, like, I would have been scared that it would have came out of my paycheck, uh, even though it probably wouldn't have at the end of the day, but just, that's why I loved her energy so much, like, I'm this kind of, you know, and there was a couple other, like, scary goth girls that worked with us, too, that would have been more like me, but Nicole, this little Taylor Swift-ass motherfucker, was like, oops, <laughs> whatever. Do I actually listen to black metal? No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm being a poser as fuck right now. It's for comedic purposes when I get off. I mean, I like the, the makeup. I wish this was sharper, man. I'm gonna whittle this. No, I can do it. I can do it. Just standing there chewing the crunchiest shit in the world. Out of frame. Yeah, I didn't want to crunch in the frame. Well, I'd rather wow. I'd rather you crunch in the frame so at least they can see what the crack 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 is. Go to this. This pencil eyeliner. No, that's Scooby. This That's Big Old Boy. This is the Bedoja Boy. The Begonjan Boy. Do you guys in chat, if anyone has pets, do you guys just call your pets just absolute nonsense names? Because we absolutely do. Scooby is the Boja Hadeen. The Boja. The Scuba. The Delbert. What? <laughs> that is really scary, actually. <laughs> just stay, just stay there for the rest of the stream, please. That's really fucking scary looking. I don't like it. <laughs> stay there forever. You're, like, slightly out of focus, too, so it's extra fucking scary. Oh, uh, you know what we should have done? I should have stayed regular, and then we could have gone in the dating app, and you could have just stood in the back the entire time. <laughs> like, what is that? Like, oh, that's my actual boyfriend. I have to make an edit for you and Seth. Please do. I would love that. Live fucking... What would our... We've talked about this many times. What would our ship name be? Chef. Uh, <laughs> the USS not giving a fuck. Oh my god. It took me a second. An actual fucking ship name. <laughs> I hate you. I was like, the USS. I was like, what the hell is that? Chef. Brock, you got me creeped out for a while. Yeah, let's <laughs> see how you like it. 
<laughs> you got me creeped out. It keeps getting too white, covered in white. Uh, no jump scare, please. I will not jump scare you. It would have been fun to jump scare some people on the dating app, that's for sure. What did you decide on food? I'm boiling the water right now. For what? Pasta. For the spaghetti. For the spaghetti. The spaghetti. I can make the sauce if you want. I make a mean pasta sauce. A pasta sauce. When I get a cat, I want to name it Maggot. Oh my god. That's just like kind of a mean name, but I kind of love it. I'm assuming like that's what Slipknot calls her fans, right? Maggots. Yeah. Nugget maggots. <laughs> Nugget maggots. My fans will be called Nuggets. That would be cute. I would like that. Nuggets. Nuggets. How are you, my Nuggets? <laughs> yeah. Well, my, I used to have, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say the lamest name ever because everyone loves it now that I've had, I had it for so long, but I used to call my, my, uh, my followers pretty kitties. <laughs> I just think of that. Two for two today, baby, with the fucking diddler jokes. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, that's that wasn't. What are you talking about? You said you were embarrassed. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Pretty kitties. You're talking K I D D I S. No! Oh my God! What is wrong with you? This is gonna get me banned. <laughs> <laughs> this. <laughs> this is the kind of shit you can't say. <laughs> no, I was like, what is the correlation? No, pretty kitties, as in literal cats, you fuck. Oh, meow. I did... I'm not being embarrassed. Yeah, because it's just... Fucking cat. Because it's just dumb. You look like a cat now. Gro like, weird like that, you fucking... There, I'm almost there. Did you say I look like a cat right now? Yeah. It's iconic. The pretty kitties need to come back. I've done it a few times in recent videos that were, uh, like, scene kid related. But again, I kind of cringe at myself when I do it. It was... I I knew I had to do something. Do you, did I ever tell you what Johnny's was, babe? His, his, uh, like, his version of pretty kitties. Oh, uh, what was it, guys? Peace out, thug pugs. Uh, stay happy, not crappy. Life's a bitch, don't quit. Did I already say peace out, thug pugs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was what it was. Peace out, thug pugs. Stay happy, not crappy. Life's a bitch, don't quit. If anyone else can uh, correct me and or uh, extrapolate upon that. Yeah, the thug pugs, which is where I think I was like, I need something funny, like punny like that. So I did pretty kitties. Pretty Kitties. Thug Pugs is objectively cooler than Pretty Kitties, un unfortunately for me. Yeah, can't even misinterpret it. Well, I don't know who the fuck would interpret that, like, you fucking weirdo. It's giving furry, yeah, it is giving furry vibes, well, though, so you're like, we have to do something animal related. Uh, it's giving I was 12 years old when I came up with it is really what it's giving. But yeah, no, I remember, I remember thinking back in the day, I was like, fucking, life's a bitch, don't quit. 
stay happy, not crappy. I was like, this is the pinnacle of being an influencer and I need my own. And I got it. I got my own. All right, we're, we're halfway there. We're halfway there, halfway there. Pretty Kitties was iconic, don't downplay it. Well, thank you. I guess it's, it's just because it's me, you know? You do things when you're young and everyone thinks they're, they're cringy when they're young. I could have done much worse, honestly. I'm pretty sure... Like, I got really lucky because 12-year-old me did all my branding that exists currently in the current landscape of the world. One of the only compliments Brian Stars ever gave me was when I was at Warp Tour doing the Warped YouTubers. And he was like, so, how did you- I, th I think he said something along the lines of, like, how did your, uh, publicist or something, like, come up with, hey there, I'm Shannon. And I was like, I was like, my publicist? I was like, Brian, you're my- manager and you barely do that <laughs> like, i don't know who you think i am it's like i came up with that and i was 12 and he was like that's really catchy and i was like thanks dude i can uh i can name a lot more insults he gave me though i think that was the only time he was ever nice to me it's like wow you're your name is really marketable. That was the only time he ever complimented me. He was like, wow, I can make a lot of money off of that. He's like, I'm really good for putting on a t-shirt that I can sell. Thanks, dude. Oh, yeah. Cringe doesn't exist in 2023. We're embla embracing all our baby selves' flaws and all. I like that. You know what? I agree. I feel like cringe is just, like, it's so stupid to not do something because it's quote-unquote cringe. My existence is just cringe. I claim it. I'm reclaiming the word cringe. He sounds like a real star. He was a real star. Honestly, whenever I think about Brian insulting me, I remember the time that I was... Have I ever told you this, babe? One time I was sound checking and Brian told me I lacked a stage presence. And I was like, yeah, because I'm sound checking. I was like, I don't even know if my in-ears work, man. You want me to have fucking stage presence? Meanwhile, every time he performs... Sans cool ass makeup, just stand on the fucking monitor. I need to do it more over. This is a really terrifying screenshot, but if Brian Stars looked cool and wore corpse paint, what's the song? Oh god. I bet you never had a night. That sounds too good. Bet you never had a night. That sounds too country. I can't do it. A bitch never had a night like this. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I just wanted to enjoy doing that for a second. Alright, I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow now. He sounds like a real star. A real star. Is your boyfriend gonna make a channel? I don't know, babe. Are you gonna make a YouTube channel? Or are you just gonna start doing TikTok? YouTube's a hard one to, to succeed at. Oh, oh, it's right there. He's definitely gonna make a TikTok. I'm gonna force him to make a TikTok. He already has one. I'm gonna force him to start posting. Not force him. He wants to. He wants me to force him. Right? Yes? No? Yeah. Yeah? <clears throat> <laughs> Everyone says they're, they're dying at my Brian impression. If you do clip that, please tag me. I'd like to see. Just you need someone needs to actually clip that and then clip the real MDE tour 
and put the clips side by side and we can just like see you know who did it better please release that as a short <laughs> okay i can do that just the brian stars impression yeah, no, but that is a true story. He actually made me cry. The only time Brian ever successfully made me cry, I was sound checking. It was our f first and only rehearsal. We had like a two hour rehearsal for the MDA tour. I had never worn in ears in my life. I didn't know how they were supposed to sound. So I was standing in my rehearsal spot, literally just standing and like having them flip through different things with the in ears. And I was standing and I would sing like a few words and just. I don't know, you guys have probably seen your favorite artist soundcheck if you or like at least their roadies soundcheck for them on stage if you've been to live shows. And that's what I was doing. I was literally standing there like testing. And he was like, Hey Shannon, I don't know how to say this to you, but I think you're gonna need to step it up a little bit when you get on stage. It's not gonna be very exciting for the fans to see you just standing there. I think we need a little bit more stage presence. And I was like, Okay, Brian Odell, let me give you some fucking stage presence. Well, we went on the tour, I only had 30 seconds of <laughs> stage time per show, so really don't matter that much anyways, but. Regardless. Just saying. My, my one song playing tambourine was better than Brian's whole set, so I don't really give a shit. All right, I'm not gonna go too hard on this because I'm gonna eat some pasta in a second here. It's gonna all come off, so I feel like this is uh, this is a good place to stop for sure. I think this looks good. Da -na -na -na. Yeah, if anyone with editing skills actually clips that and decides to make something with it, send it to me, tag me, and I will repost it and tag you on my channel for sure. Trying to make more shorts out of, like, live stuff for sure. You gotta see him singing now? Okay, let's see if I can find, actually, just very quickly on YouTube. I bet you I can find this. Get out of here. Come here. And then after this, I'm gonna have to go because I have to film, but I do wanna... I do, I do wanna see if I can find this. Uh, my digital escape tour Brian stars live there are videos oh that's fucking me in the first thumbnail I was like who the fuck is that did he like he DMCA take down oh there it is and there it is oh god I gotta get my headphones I gotta get my headphones <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? You're not ready for this, is basically what I'm telling you. All right. So who's having a good time tonight? You're enjoying the time? Who's having a good time tonight, everybody? Cool. I am too. This next song, guys, is a song called Smile. Um, how many of you guys have been through a tough time in your life? Anybody? He said life, the same words really every night. Every day can be a struggle. Um, I know life is really tough, you guys. Can be a struggle. And he would also, when we would get off stage, he would be like, please talk about your depression more. Please, for your 30 seconds of stage time, tell everyone about how bipolar you are. That's true for a, lot of you, for a lot of you guys. I know I've seen it a lot firsthand. And uh, this song is about okay. getting Because I abuse all my times. employees um, and they cry a lot. I think a lot of people ask me, like, thank you guys. A lot of people ask me what the biggest struggle has been in my life. And I think for me it was um, a couple years ago when I started getting chronic migraines. And, oh, um, dude, this was, you guys, like, not to just keep cutting us off. I'm so surprised I've never gone through this on my channel. I'm, this is how he's going to stand for the rest of the song. Um, this night was the night that when I told you guys I got up on the bench seat and, like, yelled at him from the bench. It was this night because everyone was so upset that he compared his headaches to uh, wanting to kill yourself. 
no doctor could figure out what was wrong with me, and it made me really like. sad and depressed. Um, but I got better, and I want I want you guys to know that no matter what you're going through, whether it's you know um, bullying or you know divorce or the reason the fight started was because one of our crew's parents had just texted him that day that they were getting divorced and he was having a really hard time and then Brian got up on stage and was like, I get headaches and it's kind of like when your parents get divorced. Um, I don't know, just whatever life throws at you, you will get better and you will get through it. And, uh, Let's get to the song, bro. Talk about stage presence. This song, like, water. <laughs> Oh, there's a leg. Oh, I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get copyrighted on this stream. I didn't even think about it. Whatever. We're in too deep now. Why do I know all the words to this? Let's go! Ooh, that stage presence. Fire! That was a sample enough of the stage presence. Yeah! Wow! That was the best show I've ever been to. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. And with that. <laughs> And with that, I forgot that I was wearing this makeup. Let me take, uh, let me take the hair down. No, it's not cringe, you guys. We just said there's no such thing as cringe anymore. That is peak. That's metal, you guys, if I've ever seen it. That's metal as fuck. The way he just stood there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, like... I don't, I don't like to uh, baselessly make fun of him. I mean, there's just so many bases to make fun of him on. Um, just the fact that he made me cry because my stage presence was bad while I was sound checking, and that's this man's actual live performance. So, anyway, <laughs> that's a good way to end the stream. Get a little, my lace there is not the right color. Woo! Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Um, after this, I do have to uh, film that little video that I was telling you guys about. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun doing this makeup. It was really nice to finally have a stream with Seth, who is still in the kitchen, cooking in his corpse paint. Um, you want to come say bye really quick? You look badass. Thank you, Stacy. Novalin says, "What song would you like for my edit with you and Seth?" I was sleeping. I was thinking of a sleeping with sirens song, but what do you guys want? Anything, whatever goes. We like. We both like sleeping with sirens a lot, so for sure, definitely do that. He's coming to say goodbye. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make this little video. I have my My Chemical Romance cover coming out tomorrow for my members. Goodbye, everybody. Dude, we actually, like, really good. Like Pleasure this. to be here. Yeah, you fucking killed it. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it does look really good cool. Good night. Good night. He says goodbye. Good night, good night. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. This was definitely a unique stream. It was so nice to have, like, another actual human being next to me to, like, talk to me. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun, for sure. So keep a look out for my My Chemical Romance cover of Mama. It's going to be coming out for members tomorrow and then everyone else the day after. Um, I stream every Monday and Friday, so I'll be back live on Friday. 
um, and usually between six and seven. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do subscribe and turn on all notifications. That helps out the channel a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but yeah, other than that, I love you guys. I hope you have a, a great rest of your night. Great day tomorrow, and I will see you on Wednesday if you're not a member, or tomorrow if you're a member. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your night. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you soon. Bye. I don't know why I did that. I'm not filming.